Hey everyone! So, I am back and today I plan on doing a review on the Ben Nye powder, but not just any Ben Nye powder. I plan on doing a review on the Topaz translucent powder specifically. And not only am I going to talk about it, but I'm also going to show you guys how I apply the powder and this, that, and the third. So, yeah. I know my hair is uh, jacked the fuck up right now. I really wanted to show you guys how to wrap it on my wanded hair, but oh my god, it just got messed up and I just couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that, but you guys know I got you. But um, yes, yeah, so the Ben Nye Topaz Translucent Powder. Where do I want to start? Where do I want to start? So. Basically, if you've been on YouTube or, I mean, you know anything about Ben Nye or you're one of the people that watches Gurus and all that stuff, you've probably heard about the Ben Nye powders and most um, popular of the Ben Nye powders is the banana powder because of the whole thing with Kim K using it and this, that, and the third. So, um, yeah, you've probably heard about Ben Nye um, here or there, but it's really, really popular and uh, I saw a couple of videos and reviews and this, that, and a third, so I finally uh, made the decision to invest in my own Ben Nye powder and so that's what I did. I purchased the Ben Nye powder in Topaz. Um, if you can see, Topaz is more of an orange camel tone. Um, it's not the banana powder which is just this light powder because it's like it's translucent okay you know what I'm gonna get into it Let, let's get into it really so I was talking to my cousin probably a few days ago uh, me and my family we traveled to New York recently and I had called my cousin when I was up there and um, it was so funny because I just purchased the Topaz powder and I didn't tell her yet, but she just basically was like, she had purchased the Ben Nye powder and I asked her which one that she purchased and she said that she purchased um, the banana powder and she said that she didn't like it, that it didn't work for her and I asked her, you know, what, what about it did you not like? You know, was it too light? Was it something which uh, my cousin is... Um, if you see my skin complexion in this video, which by the way, it's like, it's been raining for like the past three days where I live at and I'm trying really, really hard with these lights right now, but if I'm washed out or it's really dark in the background or it's kind of dim and dull, I'm sorry about that. It's really like the weather, like it's not me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was just asking her what she didn't like about it and my cousin, she's like a she's like two shades lighter than me um kind of so she's a little bit lighter than me and she got the banana powder she said she didn't like it and when I asked her why she didn't like it she just said that it didn't do anything for her like basically it was just a powder and that was it like it didn't really do anything for her so um then I told her that I bought the powder um but that I got it not in the banana powder that color but I got it in the topaz uh powder instead and um, I can kind of understand where she was coming from, but before I get to like that part, I'm gonna like just talk about my experience with it first. So basically, um, I had looked up like several, several shades of the Ben Nye powders because for me, it was it was kind of just like I wasn't gonna get the banana powder because I knew right away like that is not for my skin complexion. Like I'm not gonna get banana powder. Um, it says that it's a translucent powder, but a lot of times when things say that they're translucent, a lot of people just go gung ho like, oh well, there is translucent, translucent, so it's you know see through and it's not something that people are gonna be able to see on my skin, but. It's a face powder, you know what I'm saying? And it has a tint to it, so... And then with the Ben Nye powders, there are so many shades. It's just like... Why would you get banana powder if, you know... And, and I'm not trying to be offensive to anyone, but I'm just saying, like, there's too many shades to make the mistake of getting a powder that, you know, just because everyone else is talking about that powder, it's just like, this is translucent as well. But as you can see, it's a different color. 
So um, right off the bat, I, I knew that, you know, I'm not going to get the banana powder because I don't feel like that is suitable for my skin complexion. So I just didn't even look up the banana powder at all. I looked at several other shades. I went to the website and I also looked at other reviews and pictures and all that stuff to really match myself online because there's no Ben Nye store. You know, you can't go into Sephora and there's Ben Nye. They're not going to match you, you know, so you really have to. It's kind of like a gambling when it comes to um, buying these Ben Nye powders because you have to kind of buy, I guess, all the powders you feel like are suitable for you until you kind of figure it out. And there's people who, um, you know, they buy like one Ben Nye powder, but they get like different kinds. And I myself, I want to actually try some other ones as well. But, um, you know, they all add a different kind of tint to the skin. Yes, they're all translucent, but they have different shades for a reason. So I'm just saying that to say like, don't don't make the, the mistake of getting banana powder just because it's on and popping with banana powder and everyone's talking about it when, you know what I'm saying? Like you look like me and that's just not, that's not the move. <laughs> so um, basically um, I didn't see a lot of reviews on the internet for the Topaz powder which also really made me want to do this review because I just felt like it is rare um or not really rare but it, I just didn't see a lot of reviews on Topaz and that was the powder that I was the most interested in getting because it was the one that I felt was the closest to what I was trying to get get at with you know the powder setting my under eyes or whatnot so Okay, I purchased the Topaz uh, off of this website called Halloween Makeup or something like that. Um, I couldn't, it, it was like, there were so many places that sold it but didn't have the, the amount that I wanted for the price that I wanted. And there's so many different sizes, there's so many different, you know, different jars. It, it's just kind of like, um, once again, like a gambling thing. It's just like, if you find a website where it's like, you know, you can get it um no problem you know but I was kind of looking for like a deal at the same time so that's kind of what drove me up the wall a little bit because I was looking for that perfect price uh, and that perfect size at the same time and that's like really hard to find especially for um topaz or any other powder that isn't banana powder because um, other powders are not that popular so because they're not in high demand they're a little bit harder to find so when I got Topaz, I knew for sure that I just scorched the earth pretty much for my shade and I was content with trying Topaz first. So I purchased it and when I purchased it, I started basically using it as soon as I got it. Before having my Ben Nye powder, I wasn't really one to set my under eye um, concealer at all. I'm not really that type of person. And the main reason why I wouldn't set my under eye concealer isn't because I don't feel like it's it's necessary. It's just because I felt like, um, I don't know, my skin is like really oily and I just don't like, I, I try not to put so much makeup and I felt like uh, setting my concealer was like an extra step that just kind of was putting more makeup on my face that I didn't need at the time. But if I would set my under eye concealer, I would use the CoverGirl Clean Powder, which I did a review on the clean powders, but um, I would set it with the Soft Honey one, which is not my shade. It's a shade lighter than the powder that I originally used from them, but um, I got that powder just specifically for the purposes of setting my under eyes, you know, down my nose, my chin, my forehead, and all that. But... I don't know, I don't really use it that much, um, so I felt like it would be the same thing with the Ben Nye, that I would just buy it just to have it, try it out, use it sometimes, but that I wouldn't really use it that much. But a face powder that is more of a blotting powder is completely different from a translucent powder that is made for the purposes of setting your under eye concealer. So basically... Um, uh, when I used the Ben Nye powder, going back to what my cousin was saying earlier, um, I don't know. I kind of feel like it's a good powder. 
Um, I told her that I liked it. I told her that I felt like, you know, it was a good powder. But I kind of get what she's saying, that it, it didn't really do anything for her because I kind of feel like it's just a powder at the end of the day. Um, I feel like if anything, one of the things I can say for sure is that I don't have as many lines in my concealer. Um, maybe it might last a little bit longer and it might look a lot more flawless but the concealer I use I feel is flawless on its own I use the Maybelline fit me concealer a uh, really good concealer and um, the I feel like it's good on its own um, putting a powder over it makes it less creamy it kind of makes it more of a matte um, finish and um, I kind of like the, the matte finish, but I also feel like just the natural creamy finish without without any powder is also very natural looking. So I switch on and off. It really depends on my time and how I feel. But I'm not about to sit over here and hype up the Ben Nye powder because I just don't feel that way about it. <laughs> so... um I'm going to talk like a little bit more about the packaging and all that stuff because I get into all that stuff with my reviews. But before I even go on, let me show you guys a demonstration of how I apply the Ben Nye powder and uh, yeah. Okay guys, so basically I don't have any contour, highlight, blush or anything on my face right now. Um, I'm still in the process of, you know, doing my full face of makeup. So right now I'm just showing you guys uh, me laying down my powder onto my concealer spots. And my concealer of choice, the concealer that I used, if you guys want to know, is my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Love this concealer. And of course, like I said, I, I'm just now doing my makeup. So I, it's not like I walk throughout the whole entire day so there's no lines or anything in my concealer because I just laid it down. But um, yeah, this is what my concealer looks like now. Um, just regular. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Jessup tapered face brush here um, it looks like this it's like a little tulip brush and then I'm taking my Ben Nye Topaz translucent powder here I take the lid off the top And I just dump some of the contents into the lid or whatever and I take my tulip brush here and I dip that all over those concealed areas and I see people like they let it bake or whatever it is that people do um, they let it sit on the skin and you know take its time to kind of form but um, I kind of like the method of applying and blending out at the same time so that's just how I apply my powder and Okay, so that's pretty much how I apply the powder to my face. Um, I use a Jessup tapered face brush, which is kind of like a tulip brush here. It's very, very soft, and I like the fact that it's tapered because it goes right in that spot right here, and the shape of it really helps. So that's what I use to apply my Ben Nye powder, and yeah. But um, yeah, so basically with the packaging, it's just in a jar. You get a lot of it. So yeah, it's really simple, nothing ecstatic, you know. The product itself, like I said a little bit earlier, um, I don't know. I mean, I think it's a good powder. You know, it does help my makeup to stay longer. And like I said, it doesn't, there's no lines in my makeup. And before when I wasn't using the Ben Nye powder, 
um, let's say I wear my concealer all day, it's like the end of the day or like the middle of the day, I might get like a line or two, but because it's a creamy finish, you know what I'm saying, um, I can just kind of take my finger and just, you know, get rid of the line or whatever like that. But when I started setting my concealer with the Ben Nye powder, I noticed that I really didn't have to do that at all because the powder finishes the concealer off into a matte finish, like I said. So it kind of alleviates me from having to touch my face and correct the cream because it just kind of X's that factor out completely. So that's pretty much like the best thing about it. And of course, you know, getting the right color is also very important because, you know what I'm saying? Like I said before, just because it says it's translucent doesn't mean that it's invisible. It's still a powder, you know what I'm saying? So you want to get the right shade. But um, I don't know, man. If I was going to rate the Ben Nye powder, I would give it like, I don't know, like I would give it like a four out of five. Why wouldn't I give it a 5? I, I wouldn't give it a 5 just because I feel like it's a good powder, it works well. But for me to even give it a 4 is almost just like it's because of how much of it you get. You get so much of it, it's like, why would I complain? Look look how much I'm getting. Like, yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, wh why would I complain? You know what I'm saying? You have enough to play with. I think it's cool that, like, if you buy it, it's one of those products, it's like, you have so much of it, you know from your first purchase buying it whether you like it or not. It's not something you have to keep repurchasing because you get so much of it even in the smallest size that you really can play around with it and, and figure for yourself if it's something that you really like. I, I would like to try some other colors with that being said. I mean I still want to try more uh, powders um, from the Ben Nye line and I'm really really satisfied with Topaz. Um, I think that this was just the best color for my skin complexion as far as what I was going for, you know, setting my under eye concealer and whatnot. Um, I think that this was just the best color that I could have gotten and I'm really glad that I took my time to kind of look through the inventory and just check it out um, instead of just, you know, getting whatever. But yeah um great powder if you luck out you might be able to get it at a good price in a good size and you have enough of it to where you know for a fact that you like it or you don't like it but you know i'm just not with the hype i just think that it is what it is um i don't know because even when i apply it sometimes i kind of feel like it, it's not really making a difference like when i first started using it um, I, I did do the method of kind of letting it sit, but I felt like that wasn't really doing anything. So I just kind of started gradually just applying it while blending it out at the same time, which I like better. Um, I can see a little bit of a difference, but even initially like using it at first, I kind of just felt like it was powder on skin. Like it wasn't really doing anything, you know, spectacular, but setting my concealer and but then, then again, this is all coming from someone, like I said, I don't, I'm not really big on setting my concealer and I'm, I'm kind of starting to like, you know, get into that. So perhaps I have not mastered the art and the studies and, you know, about setting your concealer enough to, to really know what it's doing for me. But to me, it was kind of just like a regular powder and it wasn't you know, amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.